One team has succeeded where all others have failed. One team sent Bayern back to Munich with four lumps. Wolfsburg kicked off the season's second half by breaking the record holders. For the first time, Wolfsburg and its owner VW seem to have made themselves at home in the Bundesliga, thanks to 50-year-old coach Dieter Hecking. What does Mr. Hecking usually look forward to when he goes to work in the morning? First, I'm happy to have time for breakfast with my wife and youngest daughter. It's not easy with such an active family. And then I've got an hour and a quarter's drive I can use to work out what to do with the day, what to watch for in training, which players I want to talk to one-on-one. -on -one. That's what goes through my head. And I might listen to the radio a little. That's how I prepare for my working day. Why does Mr. Hecking fit in so well here? I live in the country outside Wolfsburg, and a lot of people commute to work at the VW plant in the morning. Everyone you talk to there says, VW is a great employer. Volkswagen tries to stay in touch with its people. And I've always had both feet on the ground. I only ever wanted to work. I've never been interested in anything else. I just want to do my job. And I think VW shares this philosophy. The Wolfsburg team has the same philosophy. And maybe that's why I fit in here. It's a huge opportunity that I spotted and went for. And so far it's working out well. Let's give our imaginations free reign a bit. A star Spanish player joins world-class Bayern, the streetball player goes to working-class Dortmund, and the down-to-earth hard worker to Wolfsburg. Is that why they brought you in? <laughs> the ones who made that decision know that best. If it's true the choice came down to Bernd Schuster and me for coach, that shows the club had made a break with the coaching style they'd had before. I think Klaus Alofs was a crucial factor. He also has to know who goes together with him best. Many people have been saying right from the start, Alofs and Hecking go together. Why is that? We don't know ourselves. We spent four hours talking it over in the kitchen. Afterwards, I asked my wife what she thought. I told her I thought it could work out. Klaus Alofs felt the same way, so maybe it's just really as I told it. Maybe my down-to-earth quality was my trump card. If you look at the team's development over the past two years since you've been with it, what words would you use to describe it? Oh, that's tough. I'm not that good at finding words, so... You have so far? Yeah, so far I've been good at it until I have to think about how I'd describe these past two years. At the outset, we described it as a project we wanted to advance. But it's not just a project, because too many emotions and too many feelings are tied up in it. Developing it has been fabulous. We set ourselves target dates. We spent the first half of the season fighting against relegation. And last year we made fifth place. Now we're having our first international season in a while. And I'm hoping we'll make the Champions League. So far we're ahead of our time plan. That's why our development has been fabulous. Nice words you chose. Okay. Yes, I'm satisfied. Is second place behind Bayern taken for granted for Wolfsburg? No, by no means. At least not yet. We want to get ahead. We want to settle into playing against four or five teams behind Bayern for the international qualification spots. That's our declared goal. And we've already got the image of the team most likely to give Bayern Munich trouble. Cause trouble. Cause trouble. Hunt down. Yes, hunt down if we're up to it. Right now I don't think we are because Bayern's still the measure of all things. But Bayern knows we're here, not because they lost 4-1, to one, but because they've been hoping we'd drop some points these past weeks. We may still have eight points to go, but the point spread hasn't changed. And our aim is to let Bayern feel the pressure. So at least they'll feel a bit uneasy.
Even so, I could imagine you wouldn't mind seeing the top of the standings get more exciting in the future. Would you? It'll get more exciting, you can be sure of that. The Bundesliga will never be permanently dominated by one team. Two years ago, everybody was saying Dortmund would stand up to Bayern, and this year they crashed. But not even Bayern Munich is immune to having an off-season now and then. So no, I don't think the Bundesliga will be a one-man show. Other teams will get a chance to move up closer and have some better prospects. For instance, Augsburg's been playing a fantastic season this year with modest means. That's the attraction of this league.